Moncure Conway was a Southern-born abolitionist who stood for peace and equality above all else and became one of the 19th century's great public intellectuals. Conway's progressivism wasn't immediately apparent growing up in a prominent slaveholding family from Virginia. At Dickinson College during the late 1840s, for example, Conway at first joined Southern students who criticized an anti-slavery professor named John McClintock and threatened to leave school following a dramatic fugitive slave rescue attempt. Later, though, Conway had a change of heart, left his Methodist faith, and went to Harvard to study as a Unitarian. There he met Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry David Thoreau, and other antebellum radicals and abolitionists. He became involved with the Underground Railroad, and in the late 1850s preached against slavery in Washington and Cincinnati, although both congregations eventually dismissed him over all the controversy. In matters of faith, Conway then moved away from Unitarianism and toward a form of secular humanism called free thought. In 1862, Conway pressured President Lincoln in public and private to emancipate Southern slaves. He also took matters into his own hands and brought 31 of his father's slaves on a harrowing journey from Virginia to Ohio and freedom months before Lincoln finally issued his Emancipation Proclamation. But the human tragedies of the Civil War depressed Conway and deepened his belief in pacifism. During the war, Conway went on a speaking tour to London. There he told a Confederate diplomat that the abolitionists would withdraw support for the conflict if rebel states freed their slaves. The Confederate official publicized the unauthorized proposal, and Conway once again faced criticism, this time from fellow abolitionists. After 1865, he remained in London, where he became a leading free thinker, an international advocate for peace. After 22 years overseas, Conway finally returned to America, living in New York and writing some of his most well-known books. Still, the Spanish-American War of 1898 and the signs of growing American imperialism frustrated the great pacifist, and once again, Conway left for Europe this time settling in Paris. Moncure Conway was a feminist throughout his life, but he became especially well-known for his outspoken feminism around the turn of the 20th century. He was the minister who conducted the funeral for his friend Elizabeth Cady Stanton in 1902. Conway himself died in 1907. The Southern-born abolitionist and great American radical thinker seemed like a contradiction to many, but Moncure Conway considered himself utterly consistent. He always tried to put peace and equality first.